Well, hello again, it's Terry Cutler. And like I said in the last video, this one's not going to be all fancy pants. Now remember, I said I wanted it to be a conversation so you can decide for yourself if my Internet Safety University training program was right for you. Now, I'm not going to be doing any hypnotic brain hacking or social engineering Jedi mind tricks or using any whiz-bang zippy effects. Now, I've got a lot of information to share with you, so let's get started. <clears throat> <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't resist. Now, if you don't mind, I'd like to tell you my story of who I am, what I do, what I've done, where I'm going. Now, this will only take a couple of hours, I promise. I'm just kidding. So again, I'm Terry Cutler, and I'm a government-cleared certified ethical hacker, or cybersecurity expert, if you will, based in Montreal, Quebec, Canada, eh? Now, I'm also a member of the HCCIA, which stands for the High Technology Crime Investigation Association. So back in 2001, I used to work for a very large software company called Novell as a premium support engineer, where I provided escalation support to some of Canada's largest companies and government entities. Now, they've also had some of the largest networks right across this country. Now, during this time, I got inspired by watching shows like CSI and 24, and I was always wondering, how does Chloe O'Brien break all these systems so fast? Now, after doing some research, I found that there's actually a course called the Certified Ethical Hacker where they teach you the same techniques as the bad guys use to break into systems, except we're using these skills for the good by legally hacking our clients first and then securing their networks before the bad guys get in. So in 2005, I had a serious discussion with my boss at the time, Jim Yip, who found a way to get me into that training that was held in Washington, D.C. Now, I had the privilege of training with the FBI, the CIA, and Lockheed Martin, who were also in my class. So. Armed with the knowledge of how to break into corporate networks and computer systems, I began educating the general public, including children, on how to protect themselves online. So soon after that, TV, radio, and newspapers began to interview me whenever there was a data breach that occurred. So obviously my name got around, which led to live keynote events to present in front of thousands of people, and presenting in schools where I got to educate the parents and teachers and children on how to keep safe online. Now in 2011, I left Novell to start my own cybersecurity company, and it's been an adventure ever since. So if it weren't for Jim Yip allowing me to go, all this may not have happened the way it did. So I'm forever grateful, my friend. Now, because I love connecting, helping, and educating people around the world, I amassed over 2,000 skill endorsements on LinkedIn from my connections where my content helped them out in some way. Now, these endorsements, I'm sure, contributed to my career milestone. Some of you may have heard or seen a huge announcement that I was recently named the winner of the Cybersecurity Excellence Award for Educator of the Year 2017. Now, the annual Cybersecurity Excellence Award is like our Oscars, and they honor individuals and companies that demonstrate innovation, excellence, and leadership in information security across 50 product, company, and professional award categories. And it's produced in partnership with 350,000 members in our information security community group on LinkedIn, and this helps recognize the world's best cybersecurity products, professionals, and organizations. Now, there's hundreds of entries every year, so the awards are highly competitive, and they reflect the dynamic pace and growth of innovation in the cybersecurity marketplace. So it's a true honor to receive this award. And I also have the privilege of sitting on a 12-person national council of the Canadian Cybersecurity Alliance. Now the goal of this alliance, which by the way has currently over 100 inter-association groups connected into it, is to marshal more resources to stand up against online attackers. Now just so you know, the problem that we have in cybersecurity for the last 10 years, and still today, is that we all complement each other, but nobody's talking to each other. You know, it's almost as if the ethical hackers, the forensic guys, and the architecture guys are all isolated from each other instead of working together on techniques and technologies that would have stopped or at least frustrated the efforts of attackers. So with the Alliance, I and will have access to some of the brightest minds right across Canada to collaborate with. So my problem was, and still is, that I can't keep up with the high demand to be in 50 places at once, which is why I transferred everything I know about protecting yourself and your family and your business and your computer into an online training program and produce it in layman's non-technical terms so that everyone can understand, follow along, and take action. And that's the genesis of Internet Safety University, or ISU for short. Now, my ISU training program was created so that you as a consumer will know and do as much as possible to make it as difficult as possible for not to get scammed or hacked so that the bad guys just move on. So in this fourth installment of this free video series, it's gonna show you what you receive as a client of Internet Safety University training program and it's gonna help you decide if it's the right program at the right time for you, your family, your employer, or even your business. Especially at a time where no one wants to think about cybersecurity until it's too late. And I'll have you know that everything in this course is gonna help with prevention. So first things first, some folks have told me that cybersecurity sounds like a different language to them. 
It actually reminds them of the first time they tried to install or even use Windows 95. You know, they couldn't figure out how to do certain things or found it too complicated to use. So the first thing you need to do is have confidence in my ability to teach you the insider secrets to keep everyone protected. Now, in the last three videos, I've been doing a lot of light teaching. But when you're working on tens of thousand dollar projects, there's no room for confusion. So I asked a good friend of mine to say something nice about me and my contribution to the community. Hi, I'm Pina Arcamoni, Executive Director of the Missing Children's Network. One of the biggest uh, issues that uh, we are currently being confronted with is the amount of children that uh, connect uh, on the internet uh, and are connecting at uh, younger and younger ages. And today, they can connect from just about anywhere, whether it's at home, at school, at the internet, a cafe, or directly on their phones. As much as uh, the internet uh, has widened our perspective and we have access to all kinds of information at the tip of our fingers. Unfortunately, the internet has also become a wide playground for a lot of predators. And we are seeing uh, an increase in the amount of uh, uh, predators that are connecting with our teens, whether it's through um, Snapchat, uh, through any of the other uh, apps, for example, and uh, striking a conversation with uh, our kids, gaining uh, their trust, and then asking them to either meet with them in person or offering them these too good to be true uh, opportunities. Um, Terry's uh, internet program is really, really important. Um, I think he shares our vision of a safer world for our children. I think uh, more than ever in our history, it's important that children know how to probably use all these uh, the, uh, the social media tools that are available to them. But also parallel to that, the parents also need to know how their children are connecting on their devices and how they're using these applications. While the majority of times, these applications are wonderful resources that allow us to, uh, to connect with, just, with anyone just around the world if we want, they do also pre uh, present some hidden dangers. Um, we can no longer say, you know, I didn't grow up with this technology. We now need to keep ourselves uh, up to speed if we want to make sure that our children are safe. So uh, Terry's been a great friend of the Missing Children's Network for a number of years. Um, we've seen him in action. He's helped us uh, um, create safe profiles right here at the network. So we encourage him to pursue uh, his passion and we wish him all the luck in the world. So Pina and I have known each other for many years and her and her team work unbelievably hard and treat every missing case as if it's their own children. You know, just the love and care that they give is just so heartwarming, which is one of the reasons why I sponsor their fundraising events. Okay, so let me tell you how this is gonna work and what you're gonna get when you enroll in my training program. Now, I'm warning you, Internet Safety University has a lot to offer in order to combat today's online threats. So we're gonna move fast. The first module of my IC training program is called Tightening Your Computer Security. In this module, I'm going to walk you through a pre-flight check before we head back onto the web. Now, in a lot of cases, I often see machines that are already infected, already have too much access enabled that would facilitate a virus infection. So I'm going to walk you through how to do this on both Mac and PC. We'll also do a quick checkup to make sure that your browser is configured for safe and convenient browsing. Then, I'll guide you with a simple tool that will allow you to find out if you've already been hacked and if you're being spied on by somebody you already know, such as maybe a crazy ex-boyfriend or girlfriend. I'll also walk you through step-by-step step on how to create an unbreakable password, which will be used going forward for all of your online activity. No more garbage and weak John123 passwords. Oh, thank God. Since we're on the topic of weak passwords, I want to clear up a misconception. People think us hackers are testing passwords one by one. It's just simply not true. We don't have time for that. We have software that's preloaded with thousands of frequently used passwords. So we can just load up that tool and let it run overnight and it'll most likely guess your password while we're nice and cozy in our beds. And now, I got some bad news. So in my last video, I said I would devote a chunk of time telling you why my Internet Safety University training program is not right for you. Here's the first reason that this might not be the course you're looking for. The technique your computer security training that I just covered is very comprehensive. If I told you about every title and every video tutorial in this program, we'd be here for like an hour. The fact is, Tightening your computer security is about 10 times more in depth than the free training you've just seen combined. And here's the thing, tightening your computer security is just module one of eight modules. 
Oh man, when I told you that this was going to be a premium education with a high level and high quantity of information, I wasn't messing around. My goal is to give you such good information that you're going to dream about internet safety at night because during the day, you're going to have access to a huge library of updated tutorials. And that's just module one. Now, on a side note, I spoke with some educational designers before I started making content for this program. And let me tell you, it was really weird. It was weird because their position was to be sort of stingy with the content. Their biggest concern was, well, if you went too deep or wide and broad with the training content, then that people would feel overwhelmed. So their advice was to just give enough content to keep them hungry. Well, I can tell you that our ideas and our plans weren't aligned one bit. The fact is, I don't know how to teach internet safety with just morsels and nibbles. And if that's what you want, then Google free internet safety training where anyone can post a video and you'll get incomplete advice from untrusted sources. I want you fat and happy. And so I'm going to make sure you have everything that you need. It'll also allow you to show your friends and family what you've learned so that you too can become the teacher. I've also structured this training into bite-sized videos about three to seven minutes long each. Do we have an understanding? Cool. Let me tell you about module two. So after I've stuffed your head with core information and concepts in module one called tightening your computer security, it's time to get some real world experience. So module two is called staying safe online. The staying safe online module has one purpose to get you up to speed with online threats to you and your family. I'll explain why and how hackers and scammers are targeting you and tricking you into clicking on links that you shouldn't be. It's at a point now where you don't even have to click on a link to get infected. Now you can just hover over it and you'll get hit. I'll also walk you through how to clean up your account after it's been hacked. I'll also teach you about internet predators and how they groom children and who the perfect victims are. I'll even show you how to search for information about yourself that you didn't even know existed. I'll also get you up to speed on the latest internet lingo. So this way you don't have to look like such a noob in front of your kids and their friends. <laughs> you just haven't lived until you get called a noob by a bunch of teenagers. And speaking of teenagers, I always love presenting in high schools because it's such a challenge for me because before I go on stage, I can see it in their face and it's written all over their forehead. Like what can this bozo teach us that we don't already know, right? And then I go out and show them my ninja skills of how I can track them right to their doorstep even though they posted no information in their profiles. So you can imagine that there was a lot of Q&A after that talk. And in one of the videos, I'm going to have you look over my shoulders as I show you how the predators do it to other people and the kids. So this way you can help keep them safe online. Now, before we talk about module three, I need to get a disturbing rumor dealt with right now. You may have heard a rumor that because you have a Mac, that this training course wouldn't apply because it's unhackable and virus free. Well, in case you didn't know, viruses and ransomware have hit mainstream for Mac. So you've been lied to. Now I can tell you that Mac are more secure out of the box on a PC, but in module one, I'm going to show you how to make your PC as secure as a Mac. Bottom line is it all comes down to the user. If you're duped into clicking on a link and you'd enter your administrator password, you're toast regardless if it's a Mac or a PC. And besides, a lot of services are web-based, so it's independent of what operating system you're using anyway. Internet Safety University is platform agnostic, so I'm going to be covering Windows 7, 8, 10, uh, Mac OS X, iPhone, iPod, iPad, and even the Android. It's not about the software, it's what to do with what you use. Okay, let's talk about Module 3, which is titled Social Networking Safety. Man, I could have easily went overboard on this module. So in this module, I'm going to walk you through how to lock down your accounts on most of the popular social media sites. I'll even walk you through step by step on how to perform a Facebook privacy checkup and how to spot fake profiles. This is very handy for folks on dating sites. I'm sure you'd rather learn to do a few clicks rather than risking going on that date. Module four is going to be about addressing cyberbullying, revenge porn and sextortion. Now this is a very hot topic at the moment. So in this module, we're going to cover what it is, the seriousness of it, and how not to respond to cyber harassment and so much more. Module five is one of my favorite modules because it's about mobile security. Your entire world is on your mobile device and you don't realize it until the phone goes missing. Now in this module, I'm going to guide you on how to secure your device and set it up for self-destruct mode, just in case it gets lost or someone's trying to crack your code. I'll teach you how to enable automatic backups and finally how not to get bill shock whenever you lend your child your phone. I'll also teach you how to secure your home router and how to enable parental controls and so much more. Now as a bonus, I'm going to show you how you can enjoy a nice and quiet electronics free home cooked dinner whereas before your kids could only eat if there was a device on the table. 
Moving on to module six, internet scams. So in this scams module, I'm gonna show you how to avoid getting hacked or scammed by dissecting a few of the sample emails that I've received over the years. We'll discuss a very serious type of malware called ransomware that generated about a billion dollars for cyber criminals. Now I'm warning you, this is a very large module. There's just so much scams going on that it's so important that you learn to decipher if it is one or not. Now module seven discusses solutions and strategies. So in this module, we're going to talk about how parents and their kids, or anyone for that matter, can work together and share online experiences to facilitate a way for parents to be able to guide their kids online like they do in the real world. I'll also discuss monitoring tools which can be installed on your PC or the router, so this way you can trust but verify what your kids are doing online. And finally, module 8, which is my conclusion. Now in this module, we're going to wrap up this course and I'll give you my two cents on what threats are on the horizon that you should be aware of. Especially when your fridge, your toaster, and your car get connected onto the internet. Oh man, the fun is just getting started. I've also created a resource section which has all of my TV interviews and more, which also shares some additional advice on protecting yourself against things like baby cam hacking, home surveillance hacking, telephone scams, banking scams, identity theft, the CRA or the IRS scams, and so much more. Now there's a good chance that you saw the recent news of the CIA's hacking tools that leaked online, which revealed that they were spying on us through our TVs. Now that the cat's out of the bag, the pranksters can get access to these types of codes and mess with you. So it's really not the end of this course, but it's really the beginning, because this course will never end. So when you become a member, I guarantee you this, you will learn how to lock down your digital life in the most efficient way that I know how. And that's my promise to you. Now, let's decide if Internet Safety University is right for you. A couple of really easy things here. First, the obvious stuff. Simply buying into this program will not cause your bank account to explode. So, if you've already been spending on your yearly antivirus solution that aren't really working as much today or really slows down your computer, then maybe it's worth having a look at this training program to complement it. I'll teach you to have an internet safety mindset, which means that yes, you'll be doing things like evaluating everything you interact with online to see if it's harmful or not. And that's gonna require you to do things. Friends, I can teach you this stuff. I've been doing it for 20 years and I got top shelf education on this very topic. You won't be able to ask me a question about cybersecurity where I can't get you an answer. For me, this stuff is like breathing. It happens automatically, especially with my very large network behind me. Okay, let's get the price question out of the way. Now, I'm not gonna anchor the price of Internet Safety University against the $8,000 worth of ethical hacking education or the $30,000 worth of education from various online and in-person trainings or the tens of thousands of personal hours researching the latest tactics to keep myself and my clients safe. You already know that's not gonna teach you internet safety. Here's what I want you to know. So many people have told me that they've enjoyed the free content so much that they couldn't even imagine what the paid content must be like. And I'm not gonna leave you hanging either. You see here how we built this awesome community together? There's thousands of people that are now believers in Internet Safety University, and hopefully you are too. And I wanna create the same sort of community inside of the ISU program. So after you've watched all the modules, I'm gonna keep working with you in the form of new content, new training, and regular Q&A videos. The suggested price from many experts was $197. Now, I wasn't crazy about that price to be honest. Even though it's still less expensive than having you call in an expert to clean up your infected computer, and that ISU is jam-packed with value, I still didn't like it. I wasn't even crazy about $99. The price that I want you to have that is at $39 Canadian per year, which also includes monthly updates. No, it's not a mistake. And that's about $3 per month plus tax, which is close to as free as possible that I could have made it for you. Now, this training will complement your antivirus solution. You need to remember that your antivirus solution can't catch everything if you're careless. So this training is going to help with that part. So in a nutshell, you're hiring me for under 40 bucks a year to help keep you safe online. And that's probably cheaper than six Moco Choco Latte drinks that you buy. So with all the hacking and spying going on today, there's clearly demand for this type of training which simply means you need to make a decision. And I hope that the straight talk that I used here will help you decide that. Now, if you're ready, this is what you could do. Somewhere on this page is a buy now button. You can simply click it and follow the steps. Now, if you don't see a button on this page, head over to terrycutler.com slash buy ISU and you'll get to the same location. Thank you very much for your attention. I mean, this whole process of showing you the power of what hackers and scammers can do has been a really great experience for me. And I really hope to see you on the inside. So take care and bye for now.